Anna Lily Amapur's latest film, The Bad Batch, uh, is takes you for a ride. Whether or not you're willing to stay on that ride, I guess it's just whether you can buy into this this universe that she's created. I mean, it's hard to even say. Let's describe this universe. Uh, you don't want to describe it as like a like post-apocalyptic uh, dystopian or anything like that. Um, in fact, time is relative in this in this universe. That she, no, I'm sorry, time is relative in this world that she is presenting to us. That it basically could take place at any time, now, tomorrow, uh, or two years from now. Who knows? But it just seems so plausible that this world could uh, come to fruition. And in this world, uh, we are introduced to numerous fascinating and memorable characters and uh, how they relate in this, this wasteland. Uh, uh, this is a very compelling and interesting uh, story of survival, relationships, love, honor. Uh, uh, art, I guess you could say, and uh, it's just a, it's definitely far removed from her previous uh, film, A Girl Walks Home Alone at Night, and uh, which is a fantastic film if you haven't already seen it, but uh, this, uh, this new tale is just as engrossing and just as engaging, and uh, it's, it's, uh, it takes many turn, unexpected turns, and, and 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 in the end, it's like you would think this is just like what? I'm sure people could just sit back and like, what was the whole point of this? But I was just just taken by the charm of this movie and these characters. Uh, this, this, this these uh, characters are played by the likes of Jason Momoa, Keanu Reeves, Jim Carrey, and totally unrecognizable Diego Luna, Giovanni Ribisi, and Suki Waterhouse. They're all, they're all great in this movie. And it's really, it's a, 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 a engaging and entertaining and fascinating look at what could be, what may already be, and uh, a uh, commentary on where we could be going. Um, it's definitely one that it's one of those ones you really don't, you could have a hard time describing because you don't want to. Give uh, give someone the impression of what it is when it really isn't that. It's something else. And um, I heard, uh, I read interviews where uh, Amarpour was very disappointed that people were describing it as a, a Road Warrior-esque uh, post-apocalyptic uh, wasteland kind of film, which it is, I will totally back that up and say it is 100% not. Do not go into this movie expecting Mad Max, Road Warrior, Fury Road. You will be greatly disappointed. Just go in and expect to be entertained by an original and uh, creative director who wants to tell you a very engaging, entertaining, bloody, sometimes funny, sometimes humorous, sometimes philosophical story. So, uh, The Bad Batch um, is not bad at all. I would have to give it four stars out of five. Four stars out of five for the Bad Batch. Like I said, it's an engaging and engrossing, uh, compelling uh, drama of of a crazy world, I guess you could say. And uh, it's told very well, uh, filmed quite effectively, and performed quite nicely. So, uh, yeah, if you're a fan of Anna Lily Amakor's work, I highly recommend seeing the Bad Batch. And if you're not, you can't go wrong watching this one either. So, The Bad Batch, four stars out of five. If you like this review, hit that like button below. Have you seen uh, Amapur's previous uh, previous works? Uh, have you heard about The Bad Batch? Are you looking forward to the film? Please comment below and let me know. And if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please do, so you can stay on top of my new reviews, retro reviews, trailer reactions, and any of the fun things I happen to put up on my channel. And in the meantime, if you have already subscribed, please hit that uh, bell button right by the subscribe button and activate those notifications. That way you can be told when I put up some new content on my channel. So until next time, my friends, we'll see you at the movie.